UNC Asheville women's team trying to keep their spot in first place in the Big South. Bulldogs leading Liberty by a game, hosting Radford tonight. Highlanders four games back, but they led Asheville by 11 in their last meeting before the Bulldogs won it. Pick it up in the first quarter, Sonora Danuk has it. She's going to drive to the rim and finishes off the glass. Bulldogs by four. Later in the game, Jada Brayboy has the ball. She's going to pull up from the free throw line and knocks down that jumper. Dogs up by two. Then it's Kayla Webb. She makes the aggressive play. Gets fouled and finishes for the old-fashioned three-point play. She had eight. Bulldogs prove that home court advantage is helpful. K.J. Weaver gets the ball in the post. Makes a tough left-handed shot. Four points, 14 boards. Shatori Major led Asheville with 18. Helped lead a 17-6 run in the fourth. Asheville wins 58-48, 14-2, 21-4 overall. Get a week off before they play at Gardner-Webb next Tuesday. Liberty was idle. We've got some great men's hoops on My 40 this week. First, Wednesday at 9, the resumption of the greatest rivalry in college sports, Duke versus North Carolina basketball. Blue Devils getting hot again. Carolina first in the ACC. Check out Saturday at noon. It's the battle for first in the Big South. Top two teams, number one, UNC Asheville, at number two, Winthrop, and that should be a great one. Prep conference tournaments going on this week in the Western Highlands Conference. First round games at higher seeds. So in boys play, that puts seventh seed Madison at second seed Owen. Let's go to the fourth quarter. Owen's Brian Bartlett. Nice pass to Johnny Franks who finishes the layup. Owen up 61-38. Madison would hang around thanks to Jordan Baker. Steps up and knocks down that three-pointer. Patriots still down by 20 though. Then it's Matthew Lloyd. He gets open at the free throw line and he'll knock down the jumper for the Patriots. But the home team would build a big lead. Ben Craig, nice little hook down low to Matthew Brown, who scores the deuce. Owen rolls to the semis, 84-59. Tournament semis and finals at Avery Thursday and Friday. It go as deep as we can in playoffs, of course. Uh, you know, we got number one now in conference uh, on the 2A side. Uh, so that should give us on the 2A side, uh, hopefully a high seed in playoffs, maybe in the home court advantage. Other Western Highlands boys, Mitchell beats Hendersonville, Polk edges Mountain Heritage, and girls Madison, Owen, and Avery win. Mac boys, Reynolds upset second seed Asheville. They'll play North Buncombe in the finals. WNCAC at Tuscola, Smoky Mountain boys, top seed rolled by the host. North Henderson beats Pisgah in overtime. They'll play Smoky for the championship. In girls, Pisgah edges Franklin, while regular season champ Smoky Mountain beats Tuscola. They'll play in the title game on Thursday. And in the big Smoky Mountain, Cherokee girls roll on. Cherokee boys 102, Rosman 91. A couple of area players on the West roster for the East-West Soccer All-Star Game in July in Greensboro. Asheville's William Jones and Reynolds' Daniel Vickers named to play in the prestigious game. No selections for the girls' game have been announced yet. Well, I know UNC and Duke are, are ranked far apart, but they're going to pay it play won't time. Matter. It won't matter. <laughs> that is, that's really one of those games yeah. that really doesn't matter. Yeah, Big rivalry. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> All right. Believe it or not, the Southern Conference Basketball Tournament comes to Asheville in just a couple of weeks. The tournament marched 3rd through the 7th at the U.S. Cellular Center with the wrestling championships at Kimmel Arena. An even bigger tournament this year as far as surrounding events plan. Asheville's really become the home of a terrific weekend. Commissioner John M. Marino, who is in town today, says this is really a perfect marriage of event and location. What I've noticed, too, is that our people think in terms of we're going to Asheville. You know, Asheville's coming. They, they make the affiliation between the city and the event. They don't say it's the basketball tournament. They say we're going to Asheville. And I think it's because Asheville is such a great destination and has so much to offer for a great weekend, not just the basketball games, but other things. And the Southern Conference Basketball and Wrestling Tournament, March 3rd through 7th in Asheville, all kinds of things going on around the tourney. You can go to the tournament event page, just go to WLOS.com, click on news, and then go to news links. You'll find all you need to know about the Southern Conference Tournament, tickets, and the like.